Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud channel. In this module, we will talk about classify and moderate text with Azure Content Moderator. And I will show you how to create and subscribe to a content moderator resource and test text moderation by using the API Texting Console. We will do this exercise in Azure Portal. What is Azure Content Moderator? Azure Content Moderator is a cognitive service that checks text, image, and video content for material that is potentially offensive, risky, or otherwise undesirable. When this material is found, the service applies appropriate label to the content. Your application can then handle flat content in order to comply with regulations or maintain the intended environment for users. Let's talk about overview of text moderation. When you are using machine assisted content moderation, you either block, approve, or review the content based on your policies and thresholds. You can use machine assistance to augment human moderation of environments where partners, employees, and consumers generate text content. These places include chat rooms, discussion boards, chat boards, e-commerce catalogs, and documents. The response from the text moderation API includes the information, a list of potentially unwanted words found in the text, and what type of potentially unwanted words were found and possibly personally identif identifiable information found in the text. Text moderation API. So the text moderation API includes the information, profanity, classification, and PII information. Let's talk about profanity. When you pass text to the API, any potential profane terms in the text are identified and returned in a JSON response. The profane item is returned as a term in the JSON response along with an index value showing where the term is in the supplied text. You can also use custom term lists with this API. In that case, if a profane term is identified in the text, a list ID is also returned to identify the specific custom mode that was identified. Next one, classification. Classification of the API can place text into specific categories based on the specifications. Category 1, Category 2, Category 3. Let's talk about Category 1. Category 1, a potential presence of language that might be considered sexually explicit or adult in certain situations. And Category 2, the potential presence of language that might be considered sexually suggestive or mature in certain situations. Category three, potential presence of language that might be considered offensive in certain situations. When the JSON response is returned, it provides a Boolean value for recommended review of the text. If true, you should review the content manually to determine the potential for any issues. Each category is also returned with a score between zero and one to indicate the predicted category for the evaluated test. The higher the score, the more likely it is that the category might apply. I will show you when we do the exercise using Azure portal, I will show you how it gives the score between zero and one. And then next one, personally identifiable information. PII is of critical importance in many applications. This feature of the API can help you to help you detect if any values in the text might be considered 
PII before you release it publicly. Key aspects that are detected include email addresses, US mailing addresses, IP addresses, US phone numbers, and other SSL related. I will log into Azure portal and I will show you how to create and subscribe to a content resource. And we will test text moderation by using the API testing console. I'm in the Azure portal. I will go to home and go to search, enter marketplace. Under the services, we can see this marketplace. Let's click on marketplace. In the search, just type content moderator. Click on content moderator. And here we see content moderator, Microsoft and artificial intelligence service that detects unwanted content. Let's click on content moderator, create. And let's enter a name. That test, let's say, Learn content moderator one and subscription and the location east us and we have two pricing tiers available free at zero one calls per second standard as zero ten calls per second i'll just choose this free at zero and then we need to create a resource group let's say this azure content resource group Now I will deploy this content moderator service. So the deployment in progress, it just takes few minutes to get, to get ready. Now deployment is complete. Let's go to resource. Let's go to overview page. Here we can see the location we chose uh, East US and pricing tier, API type, content moderator. And let's go to keys and endpoint on the left panel under the resource management, click on keys and endpoint and copy the key, key one. And we will go to cognitive services API, content moderator. And here we need to choose the location closest to us. I will choose East US. And here we can see that content moderator, the operation detects profanity in more than 100 languages and match again is custom and shared blacklist. Now for the classify, let's keep it false for now because the classify gives three categories and it gives the value, a Boolean value from zero to one. So for now, we keep it as a false and let's keep everything as default. And enter the keyword, enter the key. And here our text, this is a crap email and phone number, IP address and then address. And let's send this. And we will we see the the email, IP address, phone, and address values are under a JSON array value of PII. We did not have to set the PII value to true for this result. So here we can see that email and then IP address. All these are in JSON array. and the address and the language English. Okay, so now let's go top of the page and let's set this classify as true. And let's send this. So once we send this, we will see the category one, two, three, and we will see the, the score.
So now under the classification, we see class category one, two, three. It indicates that a review is recommended and displays three categories with score values. The categories are pertaining to the text content that may be undesirable. Category one shows content could be sexual explicit or adult related. Category two, language may be considered sexually suggestive or mature in certain situations. And category three describes potentially offensive language. So we can run additional tests, but this is just to show you how to test how to test the text moderation by using the API texting testing console. So here we can see the score category one 0 0.04 and then category two is 0 0.22, category three is 0 0.93. So it gives the value, uh, Boolean value range from zero to one. If you have any questions on this Azure content moderator or uh, one way of text text moderation uh, please post it in the comments if you like this video please subscribe and share the channel thank you